Hi, I'm Dan Schultz and welcome. So, I'm starting this series on ear training because a musician can only be as good as their ears in the sense that like you can only perform as well as your ears can hear what you're performing. You know, you need to have really powerful ears to evaluate how good your playing is. And ear training is a very like uh, long-term skill that like takes a lot of time and it's incredibly important and like it's hard to improve in the beginning, in the middle and in the end, you know, like ear training is just like hard on every step. However, uh, I think that uh, there are, I mean, it's a really vast uh, and like complicated uh, field that we can expand a lot upon uh, by trying new things and that's exactly what I want to do in this series. I want to try new things, I want to uh, show you like everything I know about it and I don't have a perfect ear, not at all, like far from it. I'm like, yeah, I, I still need to practice a lot but I think this is like one of the incredible things about learning in general. You can learn a lot from people who are struggling and who are finding solutions with, about it, you know? So that's my goal. Uh, I want to present you in this video with two uh, apps and two softwares that you can use to really improve your ear training on your own. They're completely free. They are good for beginners, intermediate and advanced players. And they require nothing but your cell phone or a computer. Okay, so because some of the exercises in the first app are incredibly easy uh, for people who are already intermediate or advanced, I will uh, divide the video in two. Okay, so if you go in the description, you will have like the first part of it, which is the beginner part, and then you'll have like the intermediate to advanced part. Uh, you just have to choose uh, where do you want to start, and I mean, if you're just a beginner, uh, start slowly and don't uh, put a, a lot of weight on yourself because like it does take a lot of time to develop a good ear but if you're already an intermediate player and you have kind of like somewhat of a good ear you know a little bit of intervals and so on uh, just go for the intermediate because you have like a lot more options. Something else that is actually important to say, you need a little bit of uh, theory knowledge. Like if you see just those basic like, um, you know, like music theory 101 videos on YouTube, you probably already have everything you need. So like it takes like really half an hour for you to learn everything that you need to like progress in the ear training. Uh, but it must be said that like you need to like I mean, if you have zero knowledge on music theory, ear training will be kind of like abstract to you and it is good that you get into uh, ear training and music theory kind of at the same time so that you can like really build up the, like the, the, the skills you need to, to progress. Okay, so to begin with, we are going to use an app called uh, Functional Ear Trainer. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I think like this is a really good way to start on ear training. It's like easy enough for beginners but it gives a challenge uh, for people like until they are on a more or less intermediate level. Uh, this method is like very customizable and uh, it has a plus which is like it will like just the name says like it is like functional ear training. Uh, it like it will try to uh, train your ears in a way that will evaluate a key you know, a tonal center and uh, you will be able to like extract more from it in the sense that like a lot of the music you're going to listen to it's either like modal or tonal which means that like uh, I mean you will often have that like central like key that you're in so it means that you will have like a very effective way to evaluate uh, or like to learn ear training uh, within the music uh, you will listen to the most. Okay, so like this is a really good way to start. Then we will have to like get into more specific, more complicated things, but uh, it will take time. Okay, so like do this for a long time until you're comfortable with it and then we can like really open the gamma of like possibilities in practice. Okay, so uh, how to use it? Okay, basically uh, I'm gonna click here on basic training. Uh, I have created a few exercises that I did you know, and like I'm gonna create a new level, which is the level I recommend you do, okay? So basically you can create like for example 10 questions, you can put random key, like the tonic here, you can select random, which means that it will change the key every like this number of questions, okay? Uh, I mean, I recommend putting major, then you can switch to minor, and here in the scale, okay? 
and then it will make no difference because we will introduce chromatics. But to begin with, let's just set the settings exactly as I have them here. You know, tonic random, scale major, one octave, you know, and 10 questions. Uh, play cadence, I mean, you can put always when you're beginning. The cadence will give you like the, the center of the key, you know, it will be like, you can choose the cadence. I recommend you just leave it on one, four, five, one because it will really like allow you to like see where you're at exactly. Okay, so like let's just start and let's see how this works. Okay, so then after you click on create, you can just like uh, click on the exercise and then when you click play, it will play with cadence and then like which will be like one, four, five, one. Okay, this is like the basic uh, like uh, guideline that you will have and then you will have to say which degree is being played after. So it will play just a random note within the scale and you will have to like evaluate which degree it is. Pay attention to this in particular. Uh, it will give me the cadence, okay? Then it will play a note. So like if we are in C major, so basically buh, okay, C, like, and then it gives me a, an E. It plays this buh. Like I have to evaluate how distance it is to like, uh, the key, so like, buh, buh, buh. it's like three, two, one, okay, like buh, to the key. So like this method is based on like evaluating how close you are to like like the the one of the scale, okay. So like this is what you have to get used to. It's really hard in the beginning. You can also like when you're customizing the exercise, you can set like for example just like one, two, three. So like it will only give you the first, the second and third degrees of the scale. This like is the best if you're starting out. I put like uh, all intervals of the major scale because like I think that this is more general for the expl explanation and it helps. But I will leave a few configurations in the description if you want to check them out. So let's do this exercise and you'll see how it works exactly. See, okay, this is the the root. Ba, ba, ba. This is a fifth. Okay, so like this is a G. I will I will click the, the fifth degree here. Okay, so this is the basic goal of the exercise. You have to evaluate which degree of the scale is being played, and it will give you that tonal context. A few tips is like first, sing everything. Sing everything you do because like a lot of times. I mean, if you can't sing it, it's because you're, you're not hearing it properly, you know? And like, sometimes you feel like, oh, I know what it is. And like, you have like this intuition, but like, it's not clear exactly which notes you are hearing. So like, if it gives you a cadence, like, ba, 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 try to sing it and try to get the intonation more or less correctly. Obviously, if you're not a singer, intonation, like, you won't get it perfectly, but like, you will uh, at least have like a good understanding of what is being played, okay? Like make an effort to do that and try to keep away from the piano. Use like, or your instruments, okay? Like use your ears really like, and then you can do exercises with your instruments later. We'll get into that, but like focus a lot on this kind of stuff. Like focus on listening, being able to sing what you're listening and then evaluating properly what you are listening. This is the basic, like, uh, I mean, the the work schedule of everything, you know? And I mean, as you get good, you will be able to do this a lot faster. I'm taking like a lot of time here in this beginner area because like, that's the challenge of being a beginner, you know? It takes time to do the basics, but take the time to do the basics and you will be rewarded by it. Like, it, it's worth it, really, okay? It will help you, like, throughout all your journey, really. I mean it. Okay, and also, uh, the most important thing also is evaluating how well you did. Like, when you're using an app, it will just tell you how many, like, questions you got wrong and how many questions you got right. That's great because it will allow you to like properly evaluate uh, how much you're making progress. So like, for example, if you, so basically say that you get like, uh, I don't know, 30% right and like the rest 70% it's wrong. Do more of that exercise. Try to build up like at least 80% correctly because it means that like 80%, I mean, it's, it already, means that you're like usually making mistakes that like you maybe wouldn't have made those mistakes normally, you know, like 
and you could maybe get 100% if you're really concentrated, concentrating. If you're getting like consistent 80%, that's great, okay? Like, uh, I mean, we all make a lot of like just mistakes that like you're just not paying a lot of attention to it and so on. So like you end up making mistakes that you normally wouldn't. Uh, so like 80% is a, a good mark in the, in the sense. Uh, if it's less than 80%, don't change the, the exercise, okay? And like if you're made 80%, come back tomorrow, try again and see if you are still getting that 80% because maybe you got lucky, you know, maybe uh, you were supposed to get 50 but you got 80 and you move on to a harder exercise, you, it's just going to be chaos. So make sure 80% is the, what you have and then your progress. Okay, so these are all the basics of this particular exercise or this particular app. What I propose you doing is like go in the description and see like all the settings uh, I have created for you and then like try each one of them and see like the ones you are finding hard, see the ones you are finding easy. If you're a beginner, start really from the first one and like go up from there, okay? And like as soon as you feel like you genuinely like are comfortable doing even the hardest exercises in this app we will move to the next app which is actually like a website uh, I recommend going uh, on your computer and using it there because it's just easier than on your cell phone and I, I don't even know it's like if it works properly on, on the cell phone but like I recommend using a computer okay so let's move into the next step which is intermediate to advanced I will show you a lot of exercises that I personally use uh, nowadays uh, and they are like incredibly customizable. Let's move uh, to my computer back there Okay, so here we are at my computer uh, as you can see we have here the website uh, that I was talking about It's called uh, Teoria and then uh, If you click here on this uh, little thingy you can click on exercises and this is where you have like all the great exercises that uh, I was talking about okay, so uh, I mean, let's start with the most basic one, which is the closest one to what we were doing on Functional Ear Trainer. Uh, we can click here on Note Ear Training. This is the basic one. And as you can see, you have like, before the exercise starts, uh, like you have like a lot of options to tweak with, okay? So like, let's say, uh, I mean, let's first start like with like choosing the notes we are going to use. Like, so for example, if you choose like, uh, like all the white notes like that's pretty much like doing the major exercises in functional ear trainer if you choose like only the black notes I mean it's quite different you're only using the chromatics you can choose both so this is really the point I think you should like really start to choose like what should I practice now you know you need to be able to like evaluate what you're doing wrong what you're not doing good enough and practice that so to start with, let's just do like all the white notes. And here like is the first major difference in like the website to the uh, like the app, which is in here you can choose like how many notes will be played like in one exercise. So like in the functional ear trainer, it's like it will give you a cadence and then you will play a note. You have to select which note it is, then it gives you another note. And like each exercise only has like one note at a time. In this uh, website, you can actually like do longer exercises. So basically, you will like be able to do like one melodic sequence like all at once, you know? So like you can choose like, for example, one note. So you have to identify the first note, but you can go like all the way to nine notes. So that's great. So like you really have to like uh, continue the exercise without stopping. And if you make a mistake, it gets harder because you have to base like the next note you're going to choose off of a note that you already make a made a mistake so like it, it kind of like uh it really shows the problems you have in your ear you know and uh it makes you work on those so like let's start with four notes because this is just an example you can choose like the the clap and the tempo that doesn't change a lot the tempo really changes but like i'm just gonna live on the standard one which is adagio then there are different ways you can answer this you can use like a visual keyboard or a two octaves keyboard they are basically the same uh the thing is it will appear a keyboard on your screen and you have to like click on the notes that uh i mean you're hearing and you also have notes so basically like it's not a keyboard it's just like the name of the notes on the screen uh, you can also set timers or like exercise goals 
So for example, you, you can put like 25 exercises and then it stops or like five minutes and you can do as many exercises as you can there. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. So that's basically like the, the beginning. So I'm just gonna do a few exercises to show you how it's like and then I'll explain it. So let's go. Okay, so as you can see, it plays the first note, it tells you which note it is. So it was a C, then you hear like, I heard an octave down, so it was another C, then a fifth up, and then a uh, major second up. So, you know, I just had to like, kind of mentally calculate what that meant. You want for it to be as natural as you can. So like, I mean, I didn't have to like calculate, okay, it was an octave down, so that's like, another C, then like a perfect fifth up. I just kind of had like this intuition. So this kind of tells me that this exercise is too easy for me, but let's do a couple more. So like, here's another exercise I did, like no problem at all uh, for now. Like if I continue increasing the difficulty, it will like eventually I will hit a point in which like it will be really hard for me. So like what I want you to see as well is when you click here and exercise and view score, it basically uh, tells me like all the data it collected. So I did two exercises, six correct answers because like I did like four notes exercises. So basically it tells me the first one and then that, uh, the next like three, uh, you have to decide. So basically like for two exercises, the total was like six answers that I had to do. Uh, and then 100 is basically like 100% of the, uh, the, the exercises were correct. So like that's the number you have to keep in mind when you're evaluating when to progress or not. So if you did like 80%, that's always my mark. More than 80%, if you're getting like consistent 80%, like that's already great and you can maybe move on. If you're doing less than 80%, you need to keep at the same exercise until you're like really getting consistent 80%. So what we can do is like go back to like um, customizing the exercise and there is something that is also really important which is the compound intervals. This is something that wasn't available on the uh, functional gear trainer. Also, I'm gonna show you what happens when you like get a note wrong, okay? So it is a C but I'm going to play like a D for example, it shows me it was a C, the next one was B, so like let me just play a G, and so on. Okay, so as you can see, like it doesn't give you the chance to try a lot of times the same like exercise until you get it right. If you got it wrong, it will just tell you and you have to like continue, okay? Okay, so like as you can see, there are like a million different exercises here. You can like also do the intervals from random notes, which is great. There are a lot of things you can change here, but like when you start, uh, like it will play you two notes and you have to identify the interval uh, you're hearing. There are other exercises that are like incredibly good for like uh, your like ear training, which are the chord exercises. So basically you can start by like identifying triads and they can be useful in a lot of ways. So first you can do like, for example, major chords only and you have to identify which inversion it is. So that's like great. It is like, it seems like it's not a challenge because like it's all major interval uh, chords actually, but like identifying like inversions for a lot of people, it can be like a really big effort to like get it to be like, uh, like natural. For me personally, that's like something I find particularly hard. Then you can like also add like major, minor, diminished and augmented chords and put everything on root position. Then you can do like, major and minor with all the inversions and you can also choose different ways to answer the like the exercise you can choose like what chords it is you can like select the notes you can play with the visual keyboard uh you if you click here retry in case of error it won't like if you make a mistake it won't give you the answer but it will give you the chance of like redoing the exercise until like you get it right open position chords and i mean you can enable them and that's also like a great exercise then you can start uh including like seventh chords then you can do both at the same time uh triads and seventh chords you can also do extended chords which will add uh sevenths ninths and uh for uh eleventh 
you can do extended chords but with two extensions at, at the same time. There are also these harmonic progressions which are really nice, which basically, I mean, it will play you a harmonic progression and you will have to say exactly like what the harmonic progression was, so it will give you like, for example, this is the one chord, and then it plays like six or ten other chords or something, and then you have to tell exactly like which were those chords, and it's really good because you can really like introduce like a lot of uh, chords that aren't uh, that traditional. So basically, one, four, and five degree triads. Uh, that's like the most standard ones. Uh, you can add sevens, so like it will add like a seventh to the dominant, often a secondary dominant. So basically, it will often add the second degree going to the fifth one, but the second degree is like a dominant seven chord several secondary dominants so basically you're choosing all possible options in the end you will have like almost 700 exercises to do so that's like a lot of practice you can get done it's always good like depending on what kind of things you can you want to practice you can ask to show the key you know and play a reference which is usually like just a basic uh, cadence just like the one in functional ear trainer and so on also, you can like uh, there are scales that you can choose. Like you can choose like major and minor scales, which are like the most common ones. But you can also have to identify like pentatonic scales, all the modes, uh, and then like altered modes. Okay, so that's like a lot of things you can get done as well in this website. There are also like sight singing exercises that you input like the parameters and will give you like a lot of exercises. So if you like also do like choose like all the options it has like a lot of sight singing so you know like you can genuinely explore a lot this kind of options and like that's basically it but like i know it's i mean when i'm showing like this maybe it doesn't seem like much but like the thing is when you are practicing when you find the level you're at so like for example you can do this exercise with quality but if you increase the difficulty a little bit it's just like not that good anymore it takes a lot of time to progress and because you can tweak it so much and you can change a lot of parameters and you can increase the difficulty just like a little bit every exercise or like every week or something there are like a million options and if you like spend the time like every week if you do like a couple exercises like every day and every week you change that would genuinely like help you like really build up your ear and like I want to do more videos just on this website because if you get creative if you like think hey what can I do with the same ideas the same exercises but like using different things you know like trying different uh, like things on this website you know like there are a lot of things you can do really and I want to get into that but I'll have to leave it for the next video Okay, so that was it. I hope this video was able to help you like improve your ear. And I mean, it's obvious that like just watching the video won't make your ear better, but you have to apply everything I said. But I genuinely believe that if you go through the exercises, you practice like from the beginning until like as long as you can endure, you know, the practice, uh, you will actually really develop your ear. And I really hope like this helps you a lot. So don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will post a lot more like this, including other videos on ear training. So thank you a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.